So as we can see there, same thing like how uh, So you'll be having the 100 multiple choice questions, multiple selections questions for 2.5 hours uh, for the Palo Alto exam. The exam is your uh, CMSE. Uh, it is in good demand right now. OK, uh, you can go through the uh, like questions like I will show you if you want the dumps for this. Let me uh, log in this. So you need to work for the Palo Alto before giving the exam. So we, we must have a lot of hands on to work on the. Especially for the EVA GNS, OK, even the real racks also will get it. But as you know, that it's very expensive. Right. So what are the things we are going to uh, learn for the this thing, guys? We can see. So you should be familiar with the uh, installation of your uh, so pan and uh, configurations. We should know about it. OK. And if you want me, I'll share you this link. I think this also I already have shared. So major exam topics will be. <laughs> so we can see guys, uh, almost all every firewall gas. So please. Uh, we have to remember. Let me accept. The major topic, guys. First, we should remember. Okay, so always remember, guys. Uh, this is an important topic, like what I am going to discuss today in terms of exam, exam prospective, and what are the lab we are going to uh, do it. How we are going to do it, like because you know, the all the coming sessions, like you are is like uh, your ICE squares or your firepower, your Fortinet, a checkpoint, or SD WAN, which are coming session. I am going to train. Okay, so these are all the things is common for all, especially for the, the firewall concept. So we can see on the screen the major exam topics for all the firewall concept will be same. The technology are same. Only the devices are different. The each vendor device they have the specific features and some uh, specific characteristic to work in the real time in the production network. Maybe in the uh, inside the organizations, even in the, in the on the cloud. We can see the major exam topics. So what we can see uh, the administration and management device configurations. Okay, device configuration it will come uh, basic as an in the IP address and checking the connectivity between the inside uh, interfaces. Okay, and uh, how to commit, so how to commit uh, workflow, and how it has been connected. Network architecture. You can see how it has been connected. So NATing. So as I told you guys, NATing okay is very important because until and unless the NATing means then only we can allowing profit to communicate with the ISP IP, which are uh, any organizations as you know that they will buy the lease line or broadband internet connections, where all your end user device is going to hit the your ISP IP address. Then only it will allow you to uh, go to the internet access. Right, so as we can see, the packet flow, okay, and SP3 service providers. So as you know that every organization they will take minimum three ISPs. So they will take a three ISP and security policies profile. Okay, so policy security policy. I think uh, we had done in uh, uh, Cisco ASA firewall, right? Cisco ASA firewall. I think we had done it. And uh, next thing is profile. So here also in Palo Alto, we can create the profile. Uh, I think yesterday also I had in last week. So I told you how to create the profile. So in Palo Alto firewall and wild uh, fire and URL filtering and DLP. So this filtering like which URL we are allowed. Okay, as you know, the Palo Alto series, which, uh, which uh, in coming slide, I will show you that. Okay, so it has got the capabilities to filter some uh, uh, 2 million or 4 million, 1 million URLs. Okay. And as I told you, it has got very good advantage. That is a user ID, application ID, and one more is content ID. These are the three major features, which is be uh, the your fire, Palo Alto fire, Firewall, especially. 
So then as another well, IPsec is a protocol which uh, will create the encrypted tunnel between the two different sites in terms of configuration from uh, routing base or site to site connectivity and SSL for the inbound and outbound. Okay, now latest SS uh, version two has been released for the secure accessing. So as we know, so right now we can see on your screen. So it is connected with VPN disconnected. You can see right, it has been already pre-configured. Okay, so if you open like we can able to connect it. No issue because you know what are the things communication is happening to uh, between so my office laptop and your office laptop. It will be encrypted. So how to encrypt? Because we we are not connected directly. We are connect, I am using my ISP. So uh, ATT they are using their own ISP. Means ISP will create the connectivity. This is the part of your virtual switching concept. So I think you which you learn in your engineering, right? It will create the virtual circuit. Okay, to allow you to move the traffic between my uh, home network to your office home network. And one more good advantage is so high availability. Guys, high availability is very important for any for redundancy and the production network. It has got the capability for active and passive. So most of the organizations they prefer to go the active active. Means even sing one seconds also it should not your network should not go down. Means a link should not go down. Okay, the Cisco Palo Alto firewall. Okay, so it has got the capability, but still it has got some vulnerability in that. That's the reason Cisco has come up with Cisco Firepower. I think you might have about Cisco uh, Fire uh, Power Firewall. They have come up with this solution. And you must have some troubleshooting skills, especially for the connectivity. And uh, this is the panorama is a, one of the appliances in Palo Alto, uh, which is become the very popular right and is a top firewall in the world guys right now. Panorama. Which has got capability for netting and padding the inbuilt. But thing is, you should know how to configure it. So global protection like SSL, VPN, certified uh, HIP profile and HIP matching. OK, this is for matching. So come to the panorama, the configuration management, commit, OK, pre and post policy, device group, sharing object and device group objects. OK, so this is the topic as is uh, very important, like what we can see. Uh, most of the engineers, they like the Palo Alto Fire because of device grouping, sharing the objects. OK, and because sharing the object means once if you create the object, same should be synced to the other sites. Suppose if you are configuring in headquarters, the, you want to uh, create the VPN tunnel between the other uh, branch of this different part of the country or different part of the city. OK, so we can share this object, then the device will create a tunnel very easily with the secure communication. These are the few appliances, guys. Uh, this I think already showed you that this is one uh, with the Palo Alto, uh, which will support the 4.5 versions. And right now, the uh, so PA 4060, PA 4050, and PA uh, 4020. We can see this each port has got a capability for 10 gig. Okay, so and uh, protection up to 5 gigabytes threat protections. So each device has got own features. Okay, and sessions up to I think 2 million. And this is also 2 million. This is a 5 million. This is 5, yeah, so 5 million. And see, if you talk about uh, gigabytes for the copper, okay, uh, copper means he's talking about the CAT cable, guys. Suppose if we check the CAT cable, it has got a different uh, speed, right? CAT cable. So, you know, uh, the Cisco switches, even the Palo Alto and Huawei, different vendor switches. The selection of the best path will be decided based on the cost, based on the speed. Means these cables also is very important, play the major role selection of the your which is the root and which is a non-root bridge. Correct. So that's the reason, guys, is very important. So next thing is, is talking about eight SFP interface. Any idea about SFP interface? Any idea, guys? 
Have you seen this interface? Guys, are you there, all of you? Yes, that's it. That. Okay, so, so what is the use of this? What is this? 8SFP interface means what? What is this? Small form uh, factor, I think. You can see the Google like. This is the connector, guys, like where we connect optical fiber cable. Small form factor, so as I told you. Okay, this is a look like the connector. So here we'll connect the optical fiber cable. Okay, so you can see in the office, most of the cables will connect like this. Okay, so this will be uh, will be plug for your uh, your uh, ports. Okay, we can see if you want to see the cost of this, we can see uh, this SFP socket kernel of five thousand five hundred dollars. Very expensive, right? So your Palo Alto firewall is going to support up to eight uh, SFPs. And for the every device, you will be having two guys. Even Cisco has seen two uh, SFP interfaces. So in the Palo Alto, it support up to uh, this one 40, 50 PA. It support eight interface. And this guy also support four and four. Fine. So depending upon these interfaces, especially this uh, SFP interface, the cost of the device will vary. These are the listed devices. The specification like how many tunnel we can create. So 25 IP sec tunnel for the interface we can create. So 100 Mbps firewall throughput for application ID enabled. This is very important point guys, what you can see on the screen guys. You can see guys, this application ID, because as you know that there's a different unauthorized application and unauthorized app are developed every day, right? I have seen guys. So who is going to recognize that? If your firewall has got capability, it is inbuilt, enabled by your Palo Alto appliances for this 2000 series. The 50 Mbps thread prevention throughput, and, and uh, you can create up to three virtual routers inside. The five physical interfaces, just I'm telling because you know, you should know the what are the hardware connectivity. So once if you get access for the office server, uh, I think there we can see what other things have been installed. Okay, so after your first break, so we'll do the lab session today. Okay, so logical interface support. Okay, as you know that 802.1Q it will support sub interfaces. You have to remember guys, this is the uh, multiple choice questions which I'm going to give in the exam for the firewall, uh, firewall assessments. Sub interface supports 802.1Q up to 4094 VLAN support per port. This is very huge, right? It's very huge. OK, so maximum is we can create this number of VLANs. OK, aggregate interface is 802.3AD. Uh, 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 only pay of 4,500 series to support. Okay, up to five physical one gig can be replaced into aggregation group. You know what is aggregation group guys? Means we can connect it. The aggregation is to the middle means which will give where we can create the sub interface. Okay, so eight physical interface like for one gig. For eight physical interface like one one sub interface we can create. Okay, for one one sub interface like we can connect like under hundreds of uh, end user devices guys. So even it will support the loopbacks as well as also it will support. So multicast support, so available in uh, virtual wire and L3. So remember guys, most of the firewalls, uh, it will going to support your like, layer three interface. Okay, number of L3 interfaces, number of L3 ports exist in the port and Less number of L3 means the device is very expensive. If you have the less number of L3 interface, then no number of L2 interfaces means that the cost will reduced.
Okay, what are different features are available for features uh, for the interfaces? As I told you, for layer three, we can configure your uh, this one. Uh, no VTP, no uh, NAT. Okay, no auto selling for high availability pass link. If IPv6 uh, is is passing, okay, security policy can be read for this trophy. No multicasting support. Okay, for layer two interface. For layer three, so IPv6 pass, security policy can be read done. Okay, we can configure the IPv6. So for the interface management, so which protocol can be uh, managed the protocol? Like as we can see, uh, can be assigned layer three interface, blue bag interface, and VLANs. Means it will support all. So guys, as we can see, allow ping. This is how I think I told you that yesterday. Okay, how we are configuring in Palo Alto Firewall, like how to create the service profile or management profile, like set network profile interface management, and give, I think yesterday, some people, they had given entity, so I had given like mining, touch, and then we are allowing ping, yes. So here in uh, GUI interface, just we have to checklist, and okay. Okay, as we can see, configure under network tab, okay. So we can see a uh, network profile interface management. Okay, and interface management. Just we have to checklist. You can see, right? This is how the GUI interfaces. You perform via yeah, MGMT. Yeah, MGT means management, guys. Interface for the PAN by default. Okay, it has given the like go to setup, device setup, uh, service route, service route. So just select and just say, okay. In application identity, so we can see application identity ability to provide the applications function for the application core. So as I told you that, so it has got the capability for uh, in application ID for the various method to, to determine the exact running in the sessions. Protocol decoder, protocol decryptions, uh, application signature. OK, this is the uh, has got very tremendous features in the Palo Alto Fair one. You can see, right? So these are the one of the best features. So apart from this, so again, like application even work on these scenarios. Okay, uh, like application running on the different ports. Okay, so as you know that whenever you write the any Java code, guys, I think those who have done any applications, okay, Java people also they should know about the ports. These applications, uh, which port it should work, and uh, like. Uh, standard ports. Okay, how it, you can sync with where we can generate your your ports number so that we can work these applications. Okay, so in this scenario also your firewall has will work. If the application being transmitted uh, your SSL tunnel, the firewall can uh, forward the proxy SSL connections. Or if the uh, employee for SSH version two. So right now, what are the SSH? We have I have told you this version one, the basic SSH, especially for application going through the HTTP uh, proxy. Because HTTP means you know the port number HTTP is 80, right? Okay, so 80 means as you know that it is not a secure communication, right? HTTP yes means means what's uh, secure, right? <coughs> so then. It will be secure, means it has been SSL has been certified. And this is the GUI interface for the Palo Alto firewall, guys. <coughs> so dynamic application filtering. So in GUI interface, okay, so we'll try to access the GUI interface today. You see. Okay, so as we can see, this is a list of uh, how the dynamic application will be filtered. So he has given a scenario like uh, example how to do that. So application group and application filtering, the security application filtering, the application group, uh, so okay, what you want to fit, how it has been connected. When you want to filter the application, okay, the first priority will be given the signature. So which will automatically be included uh, as a part of this filter. OK, I think you, you might idea about any uh, digital signature, guys. 
So whenever you make the any digital signature, so it's going to map with your authentic applications. When the, your digital signature is authenticated, then only it will open. Suppose if you open any website with HTTP, with the port number 80, so your browser and your inbuilt firewall in your Windows, this is has got the malicious website. Okay, do you want to continue? Yes or no? This is not a secure. It will show you that. Okay, that job is the firewall. There is an inbuilt firewall for the software-based applic application firewall, which exists in your Windows 10. So where are the Palo Alto firewall is going to check the application group, okay, application filtering and uh, and signature of that application ID. After this, then it will check the user ID. Okay. After this, again, it will check the content ID. So this is how the process which is going to work in the firewall. Security policy operation. So we can see all traffic flow from one security zone to another security zone require the policy allowing traffic. Okay, so you should allow the policy like that's the reason. Whenever you want to configure the parallel to firewalls, first create the management profile with the name. Okay, then that name should be mapped to your all the interfaces and tell them this Ethernet interface one slash one. Okay, you are the layer three, so I am going to map with my service management profile with the name. So then only the firewall is going to understood that. Because why we are doing that means by default, your firewall is going to uh, do the filtering for your application ID. Right? So what is application ID? See, example like Putty software, right? So Putty is a software like which allow you to access the any device. Right? So some like illegal Putty software also exists because you know it will check the application ID. So how it will check means is going to sync with the putty uh, authorized websites. If that digital signature like signature is matched with the application ID, then only it will allow you. Otherwise, no. You understood, guys? Fine. <clears throat> guys, are you there? Guys, are you there, guys? I'm in entity office now. We are here, Taj. We are here. You are following me, right? All of you guys? Yes. Riti, Rukhaya, Rida. Yes, Taj. Tavitra. Guys, whenever, please, whenever I ask whether you are following, yes or no, I'll ask, please answer any one of the guys. No issues. Right. Okay, then only I can understand guys, you people are following. Okay, so once this uh, this uh, like basic like theory part has been done, okay, I'll give the break. Okay, after the break, we'll start doing the lab sessions. So where you stop uh, last week. Okay, this Palo Alto firewall is today and tomorrow guys. Okay, after that I'm going to start your checkpoint firewall. Okay. Do you want break now? It's 11.30. Yes, touch. OK, so you take the break. So after the break, we'll start the lab session, guys. <laughs> 